So most of these old Hondas with drum brakes have a brake lining inspection port where you can see how much wear is left. So I just have to pry this plug out. If you light up the brake lining on the inside, you can see how thin the shoes are. So this back wheel has to come off to get those fixed. Before taking the wheel off, it's a good idea to take a photograph of each side and that way you know exactly how everything needs to go back together. The first step is to remove the split nail thing that goes through the axle screw. And make sure you save the nail for when you put it back together. Then with the nail out you can remove the axle bolt. On the brake actuator arm, the brake rod has a nut on the end, and that has to come off as well. There's also a brake drum stay that keeps the drum from spinning with the wheel, and there's a little twisty wire that you have to remove. And now the bracket bolt can come right off and make sure you keep the washers and nut in the correct order then the bracket nut will pop right out and with the brake rod and the stay removed you can just tap the axle back through the swing arm and it just slides out from the other side and once the axles out and the wheels off I just slip everything back on the axle the spacers and everything so I know exactly how they went back together the brake shoe linings in the 60s and 70s were made from some pretty nasty stuff. So before I open this up, I'm going to put on my asbestos grade Micron respirator. So these brake shoes are really shiny and worn and I need to reapply lining material. Now before installing the Honda brake lining kit, make sure you wipe everything down with a clean rag and some good brake cleaner. So in this Honda brake lining kit, it comes with a set of linings and they're self-adhesive. And you can see how much more grippy they are versus the old shiny linings that were in the drum. So I just need to get these installed. And start on one end and then press it around the brake shoe. I like to add a little piece of assembly tape to each end of the new brake linings just to make sure they stay secure for now the refurbished brake shoes are ready to reinstall in the wheel drum. Now with the brake drum back together, I can throw this on the bike. So with the wheel on and the axle back through the hub, make sure you put on the washer first and then the axle nut. And don't forget the nail. Then reattach the drum stay and tighten the bolt. And don't forget to adjust the brake rod actuator. So this old bike will probably stop at least 10 times better than it used to. These Honda brake lining refurb kits are so badass, I'm giving it 5 out of 5 Ichiban Moto stickers. Have a badass week. I'll see you guys next time. And subscribe for future Ichiban Moto videos.